Check out this book. What? All right, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I picked this book because of how many pages it had. It has over 500 pages. And I'm doing this uh, reading challenge at the public library for adults and I needed to read a book over 500 pages. So I went to the library and scanned the shelves to find the fattest books and the first one that interested me and it was this one. And I have to admit I was a little scared. Could I actually get it done? But I read it in two days. And you're probably like, uh, how did you do that? Well, guess what? Over half of the book is pictures. Let me show you some examples. Check it out. These sort of creepy pencil drawings that are detailed, but just a little bit spooky sometimes. So yeah, over half of this book called The Invention of Hugo Cabret by Brian Selznick is pictures. Kind of like a cross between a graphic novel um, and, a, and a regular book, picture book, and a, and a regular chapter book. Um, so this book takes place in Paris and it's about a little boy named Hugo who is an orphan and he lives in a, a train station and he takes care of all the clocks in the train station and he really wants to finish this project that his dad had started before his dad died, which is to fix something called an automaton, which is is like a, um, a robot that can do something. And so he starts to steal parts from this toy store that's, uh, or toy maker who's in the, um, in the train station and he ends up getting caught. And so this book is all about whether or not he'll be, he'll be able to finish the automaton, which he thinks is going to write something when it works and maybe it'll be a message from his dad. Um, there was, it was really suspenseful, so I'm not going to tell you much more. And you find out at the end that it's actually based on a true story, that um, there, are, there are elements of it that are real. Parts of it are not, but there's um, parts of it that are real and there are actually photographs from the past that are used um, to tell the story. So I think you should definitely check out this book. I think you can be proud of yourself for accomplishing a 500 page book like I was and come to find out there are more in this series. So I'm gonna be checking those out. You should try The Invention of Hugo Cabret.